question. Ray, you were just seeing what they had to say. Yeah. And I don't, I never told them that part, but it's like, to me, it was all mental. So like, I, I could see if you're feeling, you know, like if you felt in your soul or something, like emotionally, like right. you'd be more connected. But you were detached because this was like I a was little detached. puzzle. It was, exactly. <laughs> I put that in my notes somewhere. I think I skipped it, but it was exactly like a little puzzle, especially them having you do the numerology and stuff. I know, I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, I bet you were so into that. <laughs> yeah. And like, just the way they present it, it, it makes sense. Like if you're following it, like it, the logic's there. And like the problem is if you can see the logic and then you get emotionally attached and you think it's actually true. Maybe you did it too fast. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I think there were a lot of things working in my favor. I did it really fast. I was in a different country where I didn't, I didn't know all the language stuff. You're so naturally so some not I miss. attached to yeah. organized religion. You right. love to go against the yeah. <laughs> status quo. <laughs> right. I love being independent. Like there's all, I did it. I had no problem saying no to certain things. Like I'm not looking for a community. <laughs> There were you're gonna leave you're not getting attached yeah um but also like i didn't see a harm at the time of like these people believing that like okay you you believe that like that's fine whatever like i didn't see yeah like to me what i saw was all these happy people which who knows if it's all fake or not but like they're actually like you know and like the testimonies like people always have testimonies for any religion but like some of them are like wow i was really in a bad place and this like saved me and you know like this did turn some people's lives around and that's like what i was seeing so it's like if you believe this fine like i'm not gonna believe it but also i feel like you're my friend at this point right and i still want to do stuff in japan with you so <laughs> i don't know um, but obviously I did not know, like, the dark side of it, of this guy and everything. Right. Um, but the way they explain it is, like, you have a body, a soul, and a spirit. And your soul's, like, the, the bridge between your body and your spirit. And so the spirit of God and the spirit of the sun and the spirit of, of the Holy Spirit... We're, like, inhabiting people's bodies. And that's how, like, you have the second coming of Jesus. Is like, it's the sun, the spirit of the sun that, like, inhabits a man. And Jesus just happened to be the first man. Oh, this, okay. Yeah. So this is how they, like, said that he's the second coming or whatever. And they said, like, there it has to be a new era because there's, like, already the Old Testament and the New Testament... So there needs to be, like, a complete testament because everything's in threes. So why would there not be, like, a third testament? Right. Because you already have the trinity. Um, I mean, they kind of have a point. Right, exactly. There's some logic there. Yeah. <laughs> in my mind, it's like, yeah, okay. And he just happens to be this guy, sure. And also, they, they always said, too, that he, like, read the Bible, like, ten, like not 10,000, he, like, 2,000 times. Like, he's an expert on the Bible, and he, like, had to read so many times before he could get the new download of information or whatever, and... That's probably true. <laughs> yeah. I don't what know. What if he's for real? He's actually the... <laughs> and we're all gonna, like, in a thousand years, we'll be like, wow, there's everyone who thought... Yeah. It wasn't true. I mean... <laughs> I would say that was maybe another reason I was staying. I was like, what if this is true? Like, it kind of does get in you, like, this could be a new history and I'm a part of it. Right. I, I mean, I thank God you didn't get sucked in, but my God, they, they know what they're doing. Like, I, I would have yeah. been, wow, what an exciting thing to be around. Even like, right. There's all the, like, yoga gurus that come up with their own 
stems of yoga they're different styles of practice and people get oh yeah like kundalini yoga they literally worshiped the guy who came up with it and now like can imagine being one of his first followers oh yeah definitely i mean i think that's one reason i don't think this is ever gonna go away even though he like he went to jail so many people still like defended him i mean some people were disillusioned and some people when he went to jail like committed suicide because they thought like wow i have been following this guy like they couldn't handle yeah i mean like but then there's so many other people that are gonna always defend it and once he dies at this point right they'll just erase the bad stuff right so i don't think this is gonna go away but it's like really crazy and then they also said um like the holy spirit and the father could also like because they're separate spirits which in like i don't know if it's catholicism or all of christianity but like they're like three but the same like the father the son the holy spirit's like the same but for them it's like three totally separate spirits who could like inhabit people separately and he has like a second in command which is a woman they call jay and she's supposed to be like the embodiment of the holy spirit and she's been his mouthpiece like while he was in jail and she's like still in it today and like still is second in command wow and yeah they said like this era was the bright era and everyone's a bride of god no matter your gender because like the Old Testament was, like, master-servant era, era where you were, like, servant to God. And then the next, the New Testament was, like, you're a child of God, so you've been elevated. So then this one obviously elevates you more, so you're the bride of God, and everyone's a bride. So, like, that gets into the sex stuff now, though. But, like, at the time, again, you don't know any of that, and it, like, logically would make sense that it keeps going up, I guess. So the next one would be you are God? Like, what? Yeah. Yeah, the the fourth one. No, but there's only three because the Trinity and stuff. Everything happens in three. This is the complete testament. It's over after this one. Okay. Yeah. And also they really do focus on being, like, perfect. And, like, pure. And, like, they also said you could rapture your spirit to, like, go live in heaven now even though you're on earth. So, like, because it was, like, a spiritual rapture, not, like, an actual, like, phys- like what oh. people believe. So, like, you could be in heaven, and, like, if your spirit's in heaven, then you're going to feel that energy and that goodness and pureness, like, now, because it, like, filters down through your soul or whatever. And, like, you need to make sure you stay pure and, like, don't drink any alcohol, don't do any drugs, don't have any sex, because, like, there's, like, a little narrow band that's, like, perfectionism. And that's the only way that you can stay raptured, is if you stay in this little narrow band of perfect. Oh my god. Well, wouldn't you want your followers to be perfect? Right, yeah. Yeah. And if you can do that, then you can have, like, everyone has their perfect home for themselves in heaven. Like, you're gonna have every single thing that you'd ever need in heaven and it's gonna be a house that's perfectly designed for you like all this stuff is what they said wow um and they like want they try to like make you imagine it like imagine your perfect house and imagine living there and being with all your friends and everything's amazing and i mean that's kind of is like the idea of heaven already but it's like they a thought exercise but but yeah like for me i thought i could stay separate like it's fine that they think this and like all the bride like whatever the bride stuff yeah but again like i didn't really see harm so like i kept going i would have to gotta hear what they have to say i don't know like... yeah yeah and now like if you're in it then you're getting the like new information too like proverbs and stuff that's like brand new so you're like can always hooked. learn yeah, you're a new hooked. thing. Yeah. Um, but, like, I do remember the, like, my handler, I guess, is what we'll <laughs> call her. <laughs> but um, I do remember her, like, being so worried because her parents, like, 
she was worried like how do i get my parents in here because they're not going to be saved and stuff but like again that's like any uh what's it called like evangelical yeah christian yeah like that's literally anything so that didn't seem strange to me either that it's like she's worried that they're not going to be able to be raptured she cracked her mat her mask fell off for a second there yeah right i think once i got past the lessons then they did kind of talk more about because they thought i was a member at this point yeah like that i'm in it <laughs> Oh. This is the most Sarah thing I've ever heard. Were you just like observing or like, <laughs> yeah, okay, but I'm not gonna say a word. Like I'm not gonna tell you <laughs> that I think this is all horseshit. But that's not my place. <laughs> I'm just gonna continue to go to the things that I feel like are interesting to me, and you can do your stuff. And uh, there you go. And, like, obviously they said, like, being gay is bad, sex before marriage is bad, but that's literally every other church, too, so. Right. Um, I feel like I've said a lot of this stuff, but. Did I say, like, I think I did say, like, they explained him being in jail was him being, like, persecuted, and, like, Jesus had to carry the cross, and this is his cross to bear. Yeah. And after he gets out in ten years, then it'll all be amazing, and everyone's gonna know the truth, is what they said. And, spoiler alert, he's back in jail. Oh. So, so, that's not true, that everything was great, at, like, after he got out. Yeah. But, wow. Um, so, yeah, also... I am going to say I'm a signs girly is what I'm going to call it. But like I look for signs, synchronicities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, there was like one sign that like after they said he was in jail and stuff. But his like they had a conditional prayer for him being in jail to like make the truth be known. If we pray at so it was if we pray at 1 a.m., 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. And everyone's praying at the same time, so it's concentrated prayer, and then that's gonna save him and prove that he's innocent or whatever. Like, it was a conditional thing One that you're supposed to do. Yes. That's brainwashing. It is. Yes. And it's, like, sleep deprivation and everything. Um, but at the time, like, it was because his in- inmate number was 117, is why they said it, to do 117. And my school student number for my Japanese school was 117. I just got goosebumps. Yeah, exactly. When I was told that too, like, I also got goosebumps. Like, I was you like, were okay, like, maybe I, am I should so be here. meant to be here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I am too. Right. So, like, that kind of did fuel a little bit, like, okay, I should stay and stuff. Um, but with researching this episode, I found out his number was 1178. They and lied the documentary, to you? Yes, I think so. Because the documentary said the saying was pray at 1 a.m., 1 p.m., 7 p.m. for like eight times of a better life or whatever is <gasps> what it was. But I think they knew my number was 117. And like at that point, they knew... Because I had talked about other, like, signs and stuff, like, going to school. Like, how I f- picked out my school and oh my like, all these other God. things. Yeah. So, I think they just told me 117 to get me <laughs> to think that this was, this was definitely... But it's still 117 is in there. Well, yeah. But that made it a lot right, It's more... only one letter different. Yeah. What's the so. Netflix series called? Um, It's in my notes towards the bottom okay okay this very well it's called um i don't know we'll get to it yeah yeah no you're also be in the description there's there's so many words here that if you scroll you're never gonna find your place again i know um okay yeah so i finished the bible studies i guess i'm a full member in december (laughs) and i went to tokyo over my winter break with them and we also did a volleyball tournament there which was super fun and i don't think that was all fake. Like, they do play a lot of sports and stuff. So that was, part was fun. But we also went to, like, the Tokyo branch of the church and did, like, church activities almost the whole time, which was not 
as fun for me. Right. But, like, I went with them and they were, like, hosting. Like, I didn't pay to pay 